Tuscany in the fall. The first weekend in October brings vintage bicycle culture to the small Italian village of Gaioli in Chianti. The event is known as Leroica. The weekend begins with a classic bike market and exhibition. Bike lovers from around Italy and the world relax, exchange knowledge and show off their two-wheeled treasures. Collector Kim Klakoff is looking for rarities. It's a Vittoria Margherita. Usually these are the first suicide shifters because you had to reach between your legs while you were driving to shift. This is an oiler. You could, you could tilt this over and it'll drop a little oil on the chain while you're riding. Suffisamment passionné de vieux vélos et puis de bicyclettes et de d'épreuves qui sont conviviales. It's just Tuscany, it's the fall. It's fun to have all these old things here. It's a uh, relax and uh, keep the life slowly, not fast. I don't think there's anything like this in the whole world. I, I have never found anything like it in the whole world. It's, uh, it's not really a race, it's more of a tour and it's, it's just fun looking at everything. The event began in 1997 as an initiative to protect the remaining Strade Bianchi the white gravel roads of Tuscany. The concept grew out of Giancarlo Brocci's longing for the days of Coppi and Bartoli. Il mito degli eroi della, dei giganti del pedale, degli, degli eroici della strada, è stato quello che mi ha portato a proporre una manifestazione poi legata in partenza alla salvaguardia delle ultime strade bianche. Francesco Moser will race the 75 km course. Questa è la tradizione, il correre con le bici di una volta, le strade di una volta, che io sarei stato un corridore molto adatto a quelle strade lì. Bravo! <laughs> Sunday morning, 5 a.m. The race begins. Giancarlo Brocci checks in the riders. La solita bella esperienza, grande festa, un clima molto bello di, di avventura, no? To limit the number of races, this year only classic bikes are allowed. John Pocolesi knows more. But generally, for La Roica, you must have a bike that's no younger than 1987. It must have the shifters in the down tube, like this. Not shifters in the brake levers like the modern bikes. That's not allowed. Uh, and the bikes uh, for Leroy are basically steel bikes, no carbon fiber, and no clipless pedals. <laughs> On four different race circuits between 38 and 204 kilometers, altogether more than 2,400 racers enjoy the beautiful journey through the Chianti vineyards. Brooks has sponsored Leroica since it was very small and has helped it grow internationally. Many riders wear the Brooks jerseys that have been available at the event in previous years and are now collectibles. Giorgio Marcasan came with a team of 15 riders. This is my first time here in Heroica, but it's very, very nice. It's beautiful. Mario Chonfu is one of the more experienced riders. Now we have a problem. We have a technique with us. Now it's okay. Can we prende? From Belgium came Pascal Duquesne and Christophe Dossi. Only two weeks ago they found out that participation was limited to vintage bikes. So they swapped their carbon fiber frames for what they found in Christophe's father's basement. Elle appartient à mon papa en fait. Elle date à peu près 1980 et on lui a demandé à prêter pour venir faire la randonnée ici. Sur le plat, c'est bien, on va plus vite, mais dans les côtes, c'est beaucoup plus dur. At Leroica, the only reason to ride fast is to get more time to spend at the next checkpoint. Traditional Italian hospitality is waiting. Stamps assure that cyclists stay within the time limit as in a randonneuring cycle tour. And then, ribolita, cake, 
coffee and, of course, wine. Plenty of wine. Avec un vieux vélo de 1925, le 200 km n'est pas facile. Mais bon, on se fait plaisir, c'est rigolo. Before they reach the finish, many more hills must be climbed, as steep as 23% in some places. The leg to the final checkpoint, Castel Nuovo, is the hardest. Molto, molto difficile. Comment on se sent pour l'instant Nous, bien, ça va. Mais le vélo, fatigué. Le vélo. <laughs> In the last kilometers, every bit of help is appreciated. After ten and a half hours, Giorgio and his friends reach Scaioli in Chianti, the start of their epic 145-kilometer ride. A little bit difficult, yeah. <laughs> it's fantastic. I will be back in the next year. Pascal and Christophe will also be back in 2010, but then probably with two classic bikes. Leroica, a legendary test of skill and endurance, and a celebration of the great cycling tradition. <laughs>